okay. Um, very good first scrimmage. As I told the team, it's a starting point. You know, we have a lot of work to do. Uh, that's for sure. We're, you know, in the middle of camp, you'd expect certain little injuries and you know, certain positions are taking a hit. Nothing major, thank goodness. Uh, I hope it stays that way. But uh, everybody that's injured, we expect to get back. Um, but, uh, you know, we're taking a hit, you know, in certain spots. But overall, really good work today. Uh, we did stay healthy in the scrimmage. Um, some things that stood out to me is I felt like defensively uh, very stout. I feel like we, we improved uh, up front and as a whole just in being stern and being physical up front. I think that stood out to me. Um, better pass rush uh, stood out. Uh, I've noticed that through camp and, and today in live action. I feel like we grew in, in that area. Um, offensively, I see a lot of young dynamic playmakers. I see some guys that can, that can make a difference, that are uh, athletic and can stretch the field. So um, we didn't get as many opportunities for those guys today as, as we'd like. Um, but that comes with protection and getting reps and um, you know taking taking our shots down the field. I mean, you, you, you saw signs of it, but uh, again, we we could uh, continue to improve in that area. So uh, overall, pleased. Again, just a lot of work. Uh, as for the other day, addressing that situation, you know, the most important responsibility I have is to prepare this team and to get them focused on a extremely uh, difficult season that's coming up. So I can promise you, everybody over there in the Joe Craft Center, uh, our, our building uh, is working diligently uh, to prepare for this season. And I'm the head coach of the football team, and I work within the, the context of the athletic department. And um, you know, anything that I said or, or do is in defense of our players, our staff, and, and the fans. Mark Stoops doesn't need defense. But you know, I, I also appreciate the work that we've done to get to this point. You know, we you know want to continue to push and continue to strive to get better, and and we'll do that, and uh, we won't be derailed. Mark Weimer, did you? Why did that raise to the point where you felt like you needed to comment on it publicly as opposed to just behind the scenes or whatever? I don't care what anybody says about their program. That's not my business. That's not my lane. But. When you start talking about my program and, and others that we compete against, I mean, me, I, I, I don't do that. I stay in my way. And, uh, you know, so that's in defense of my players, the defense of the work that we've done. And believe me, we want to continue to push. But don't uh, demean or distract from the hard work and the dedication and the commitment that people have done to get to this point. And, and uh, again, I, I, I don't need to apologize for that. And uh, I won't, but we want more. And we want to continue to push that. But there are so many people, so many fans, so many coaches, so many players that have sacrificed so much to, to improve at the level we've improved at. And listen, we all know this program wasn't born on third base. You know, so some may, but I can promise you this football team didn't wake up on third base. We did a lot of work. We did a lot of work. The commitment from the Joe Crafts and with so many different people, and Mitch and Dr. Barnhart, you know, or uh, Dr. Capilouto, so many people have done so much that, that you have to have the respect and appreciation for. We all want more. Mark, as, you, as you've done that work, that you've done here, you've gone out and recruited against some of these other programs. Have you had to fight, I imagine, from the beginning, that, that basketball school perception? Does that kind of trigger you at all? I mean, I'm not in third grade. You know what I mean? Like, it's trivial. I mean, come on. You know, it, it, we understand history. You know, that's great. I, I embrace it and love it, the history of our basketball. I'm proud of it. I love it. I didn't have that history. You know, so uh, we understand we're creating it. I also know people want to win now. I also know it's my responsibility to get to the postseason and win. Have you and Kyle talked since? No. 
Mark, I can't see you wasting a lot of time on social media like we do, and yet you posted so quickly after those comments came out. How did you find out about it? I, again, I, it, it was pointed out to me. I really try to stay off there for that entire reason. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, again, it, it's done. I'm done. I'm done. I addressed it. You know, again, I will defend my players and the staff and the people in the, in the Big Blue Nation. I'll, I'll, I'll will defend the people that sacrifice. I've said it to you how many times? I know how difficult it is to come to these games, how expensive it is, how hard it is to get into the stadium, the parking, you know, the, 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 you know, 60,000 people, you know what I mean? It, it's tough and it's a fantastic atmosphere and I cannot thank them enough. And we want to continue to see that. That's what I defend. I don't need to defend Mark. Mark, you've had some really good recruiting classes the last couple of years. Any of those guys starting to come forward, especially some of these freshmen and the scrimmage today? Yeah, I, I like you know the, the the young guys. Dion on the defensive side, Dion jumped out of here right away. Dion is is a, is a he can be a wrecker up there up front, which is great. We're really good to see that. On the offensive side of the ball, uh, definitely the young wideouts in general are. are you can see flashes, and you know we just need more reps, and we need to continue to bring them along. But uh, Marion can make some people miss. But Kel had some tough catches today, um, you know. So uh, again, I think there's a lot of talent in that group in general. Mark, does it uh, fuel your players not just with this situation, but just in general, knowing how much protection you have over them and how much your players first coach, even in situations like this? Yeah, I mean, again, this is not intentional. I didn't ask for this situation, you know. So I didn't, you know, but but. They know I have their back, and, and that's it. You know, I have their back, they have mine, and that's the end of it. And, you know, no disrespect to anybody in here, but I can promise you we're not concerned. I'm not concerned with anybody outside of our building that your feelings are, you know, at, at all. And again, I mean, I say that with no disrespect at all. I work hard, we work hard to make our, our fan base proud. And we t I can promise you, in that building, there's work getting done 24-7 and we gotta continue to go, continue to push. That is not a PR firm over there. That's a work environment. Sorry about that. Dion didn't have a 